this is the segment where Buddy scours the internet. Sometimes other people, but lots of times Buddy. Buddy scours the internet and pulls up facts that the internet says are real, and we, we share them with you. Like the fact that crocodiles cry when they're eating food. Did you know that? I didn't until Google told me 10 gonna, minutes ago. I'm gonna assume out of happy. <clears throat> That's what I want to think. Too. I don't know. It's just they <laughs> said it's some sort of physiological response where their bodies just produce tears as they're eating food. I don't know. I get really happy. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> this is amazing. I, do you know what the category is today? Is there a specific um, one? Or is it just I random? I think it is completely <laughs> and totally random. Yes. <laughs> Those are the best. So okay. let's put them up. Number one. Numero uno. Did you know that a black bear almost started World War III? I did not. So I have more, I'm looking for the bear right now. Like I, I am too. I would really like for it to be in that image, but I don't know if I see it. Okay, so in the midst of the Cuban Missile Crisis, while tensions were high against the USSR, a black bear wandered onto a US military base in Minnesota, setting off alarms that went to multiple bases. U.S. pilots almost took off to the USSR armed with nukes before it was recognized to be a black bear and the alarms were called off. I immediately just started thinking of the song by the Beatles, Blackbird, but I was making it about this, like Blackbird <laughs> walking in the dead of night, or but Black Bear. So now I want to make a parody song with William. Uh, <laughs> we, we need to make that like a special thing. Absolutely. All about this happening. Absolutely. I love that. <laughs> All right, next. Side note, ooh, side note, hold on. This came, I just remembered, these facts came not from the internet with Buddy. No. They came from his youth group. Like the <laughs> yes. youth group here at Boomerang. These are totally inspired by a Blaze youth. Oh, yeah. So these are all coming from the teens here. Oh, yes. <clears throat> this, this, uh, okay. these are the random facts from the teenagers of today's era. Interesting. <laughs> Did you know that the Coca-Cola company sells soup in Japan. I didn't, but I'm not shocked. Like, I'm not surprised by this one. This makes sense to me. He looks so happy. As a side note, what kind of soup is that? Like jello egg drop? Okay, so it says <clears throat> Coca-Cola's Go Good line offers soup you can buy in a can and drink. Yeah. Japanese vending machines now have an array of drinkable soups served piping hot in aluminum cans for easy drinking. How do they do that? I don't know, but Kelly is here to say, I never want to see soup again. <laughs> Same! <laughs> I, I seriously told someone after the fast, I'm like, I don't want to eat soup ever, <laughs> ever again. <laughs> there is there is no date that I've determined that I want to eat soup again. Guys, tell us in the comments right now, have you heard of these facts before? If you, if you have the ability to type, don't just watch us. I want to know, have you yes. ever heard of these things? Because so far, I, I may have known the first one, I forgot it, but I did not know this one. Okay, on to three. Joni just said, praise God, my throat had an itch, but I walk in divine health. Amen! Praise God! <laughs> did you know that Queen Elizabeth is a trained mechanic? Oh, look at her, she's so cute. Is there more to that or is that just <laughs> yes. like? So when Princess Elizabeth turned 18 in 1944, she insisted upon joining the army where she trained as a truck driver and a mechanic. I can see that because there's different, like there's different like people in the royal family that have done the army and stuff like that. But yeah, I, she's it's just- It's cool that she did. Very driven, I like it, I like it. I also think that like as a royal, you've, you've got to do something. Like I, I yeah, like you're, you want something you to occupy out. your time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Way to go of Queen course. Elizabeth, way to be awesome. Of course. Also your hair's cool. Yeah. Marky, you cool. could do your hair like this now. <gasps> like we could Can do we? ringlets in your hair like this. Is, is this how we spend our Saturday? Let's yes. do it. Let's yes, do it, is. it. All right, <laughs> on to our fourth one. Ah, uh, three or Kinnikin Kuroba says Vomred. Nice to have you here. <laughs> Cotton candy was invented by a dentist? As a way to like boost their business? Not a good one. <laughs> or a smart one who's like, you know what? Hey, <laughs> give it to the children's so I can like boost my business. Terrible, that's terrible. Okay, so it says, believe it or not, cotton candy was invented by a dentist. For this reason, cotton candy actually contains less sugar than other carnival treats like candy apples, soda, and funnel cakes. In 1904, the dentist took the cotton candy, which they called 
Fairy Floss to the St. Louis World Fair. I also about called it Street Louis because it was <laughs> ST. And I'm like, what's Street Louis? Oh, Street Louis. <laughs> um, unless Marky's the one making the cotton candy for <gasps> like for Pastor, and it ends up being like this big. Like it was massive. Also, Joni, you just became our 100th commenter again. Great I think job. you were the 100th commenter yesterday. Yeah. So that's awesome. You can claim your gift yes. by going to whatsright.com slash gift. <laughs> uh, Pastor Uncle says, Pastor, thanks that dentist. Oh, yes, very much. For those of you who may or may not know, Pastor Brian, like, he, it's so awesome. He turns into kind of like a little kid with cotton candy. It's true. Like It's a love language. Like, we it bought is. one for the church because we do outreach events. But a cotton I, candy machine. Yeah, a, a cotton candy we machine. We bought a cotton candy. Just one. Just one. We share it. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure we bought the machine, like, in part somewhere deep down to fulfill a lifelong dream that Pastor had. Like, it brings yes. him so much joy. I yes. love it. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor said the fact that we had a viable reason to buy a cotton candy machine made him very happy. <laughs> very. We have one final very random fact. Let's go on. Uh, Britain hacked an Al-Qaeda network and replaced bomb-making instructions with cupcake <laughs> recipes. This is why I love Great Britain. I, oh I am pleased that of all the facts, this is the one that I knew. I feel like what? this fact shows that I am George's wife. <gasps> okay, so it says MI6 dubbed the cyber attack Operation Cupcake. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Kelly That's says that they make cotton candy animals and superhero faces at a mall near them. We really just need to come visit you, Kelly. We do. You can take us to places where we cuddle koalas. You can take us to places where they make Iron Man out of cotton candy. You Such can cool sing. things. Man, we need to go on like what's right on location in Florida. Also, am I the only one who is super shocked that that picture of MI6 definitely was the exact same as MI6 in James Bond. It was the same building. Or was that from James Bond? <laughs> it's probably the real one. It, it wasn't it, wasn't it the, okay guys. They use the Pentagon in movies, that's true. <gasps> Dang. Buddy's here explaining to us how movie stock footage works. <laughs> yeah, I also got really excited that MI6 actually exists every time I hear about it. Pastor Nicole says, this is the best. Can I join Woo! MI6? Sure, let's I do it. 